Right, hey guys, what we've got here eventually. So thank you all for joining us because obviously your time is something that is very precious. So thank you for joining us tonight on our first um, joint director call of 2021. I absolutely love doing these calls because I love having other people to bounce off, listen to. And I think it's great for you guys to hear somebody else talking that's not just me, because then you're hearing lots of other ideas. So tonight I wanted to kick off, by the way, if you've got any questions, you've got a chat box down the bottom for those of you that haven't used it, or you might have a chat box next to where it says participants. And feel free to pop any comments in there as we go and we will try and answer your questions as we go like I'll be on why the girls are on and vice versa so what I wanted to kick off this year for was we talked about goals at the beginning of at the end of December and hopefully you've watched that live back if you haven't definitely one to watch I've had some really great feedback on it um but tonight it's all about how to bosh your January and I think that's really important because January can be a month where it can be a little bit quiet it can be a little bit um disheartening after we've had so many other months and we've also got this sale month and we've got lots of um things that are dropping still and obviously we've got lots of stock that's returning so I asked some of the directors like what are some of the things that you've got going on and not only that we've obviously got to plan for a brand spanking new season, which is coming in February. And it becomes really difficult not to share all of these lovely goodies that we are gonna see in February and you know, still work the month we're in. But we're gonna sort of talk about, we're gonna try and touch on all of that tonight, give you some ideas on some things that might work for you within your customer groups. Um, so hopefully you should be able to go away with some real tangible ideas um, that you could actually go and apply. So I'm gonna hand over to, Laura, feel free, Laura, when I, I hand over to you, if you can just give us like a little bit of background as well, like when you hit direct on stuff and let them know a little bit about you, because, you know, it's nice to see other people live so as well, just so, sorry, put you on the spot, because I know you wouldn't have planned for that. Okay, so let me just turn myself off. Um, there we go, is that working? Right, can you hear me? I think everyone can hear me. Yep, yeah. cool. Um, so my name's Laura. Um, I joined uh, ooh, two and a half years ago now. Um, it was on a whim. Basically, I fell in love with the scents that I smell in my cousin's house and I decided that I needed to do something different because I couldn't get childcare to be able to do more hours at the doctors that I was working at. So... I was just basically looking into it and saw one of Lisa's posts and asked to meet. And I, I really thought I was just going to be a kidnapper, didn't expect to have a team. And yes, I've hit, well, I hit director a month before my two year anniversary. So May last year. And it's just been a world win ever since. It's amazing. I haven't regretted a thing. I absolutely love every moment of it. And it's actually given me the opportunity to now be a stay at home mum and not do the doctors part time, which at this current moment in time, I'm quite glad <laughs> I'm at home with the kids, especially with the schools and the way they keep closing or bubbles end up closing. It's just a lot easier not having to try and juggle work, childcare and everything else. I know a lot of you are and I take my hats off to you. And I'm just glad Sense has given me the opportunity to do what I've been dreaming to do all along. Um, so that's basically me. <laughs> I won't bore you with any more of that. Um, I've been talking to my team and I always say to them to work the month that you're in. You hear that off of everyone because that's it, what everyone says within the squad. Always work the month you're in. And... I know a lot of you have been disheartened lately with um, customers coming up to you um, because other reps have been promoting February catalogue already, the new season catalogue. Still focus on what you're doing first for your month. I like to build up anticipation for my customers for a new transition. I, if I have had, have had a few customers message me and say, are you getting these certain warmers? So obviously I'm going to turn around and say, yeah, they are coming because they've seen the proof. They've seen other people post it, but they are loyal to me. And luckily I've got a little list now to order on the 1st of February, but that's not from me promoting because I'm not promoting it yet. I'm working 
January. And my main focus and what I've told my team to focus on is all the products that are discontinuing. So all the stuff that are discontinuing, because I've got a few people that have had warmers on their wish lists. So I'm trying to get them to push to make that sell. Because what you will find, if you think, oh, if they buy the stuff now, they won't want anything in February. Oh, no, they will buy more. <laughs> they always do. I've got one customer of mine that must have free warmers in every room. She's got so many. I don't know where she's putting them. So definitely focus on like your discontinued products. So I don't know whether everyone's got a diary or a planner. I basically write in what I'm going to sort of try and promote every day so for the first two weeks of January I'm going to be promoting all the discontinuing products um I am also going to be looking at doing bon voyage bags which we've done and mentioned before other months um I'm going to do mystery ones so I'm just going to say mystery bon voyage packs and I'm going to do them at two price ranges and it's basically just split in six packs that will be all I'm doing and that they all that normally brings in a really good PRV boost as well because everyone loves the bargain. Um, I don't know whether Lisa can help me with this one. Um, I'm sure Valentine's, are we getting more information on Valentine's in this month? I think it's 18th, isn't it? We're getting... I want, I want to say, I think there's some information drop in soon, like in the next yeah. few days um and they should valentine's usually is available to order mid-january so yeah, that's normally all delivered and ready to deliver to them for valentine's so okay. fingers crossed i haven't haven't heard i know it's on the calendar but um i haven't yeah. got any more information on it at the moment so i my main focus what i sort of tell my team is to focus on the discontinuing products um i will be mentioning to them about the bon voyage bags um and also we've got valentine's coming up and every thursday we've always got a restock so my aim this month is to build up anticipation of everyone knowing that there's a new season coming because we've got stuff discontinuing and i'm building up product credit for myself so i can get some new stock in to be able to show people get new waxes in to be able to sample when they come live Behind the scenes, what I'm doing as well is I'm sampling new season waxes because I'm lucky enough that I'm a spring summer fanatic. So I've got so many spring summer bars that are actually coming back. So I've sampled four at the moment. So they are going to be getting ready to go in sort of like new sample product packs from the 1st of February. So everyone that's going to order from me in the 1st of Feb will start getting some new season products. I created um, an autumn winter's favourites last year to stick in with all the catalogues and everything that I sent out to everyone. So I'm currently in the process of creating my autumn winter's, uh, my spring summer favourites. I do most of mine on pick collage. I will show you. I've so I don't know if you're going to be able to see it from my phone. I have to post it on there when I've done it, so you can have a look. It's basically just saying like my favourite six pack of wax, um, my favourite warmers that are coming, any laundry product, body products, just sort of like all my favourites. So then it'll be a little flyer that will go with the catalogues and go out to the customers, so they can see all the extra bits that to try and focus on and even like page such and such to look at for what all the products that I like. So that's basically all what I'm doing in a nutshell for January. It's just trying to keep pushing out the autumn winters, trying to get them to sign up to Scentsy Club, especially if there's any that are going. And um, yes, getting prepared for the new season. Hope that's okay. <laughs> Love it. Thank you very much. I'm just going to unmute you and then introduce Jade because I don't know where you've gone on me little. Guys, if you've got any questions as well, like, um, please do ask. Um, feel free to ask in the um, comments. Jade, where have you gone? Are you there? Right, I'm going to unmute you. And... Yeah. 
Let me just add you to the place for it. Hello. Hold on one sec. Um, oh, sorry, I don't know what I've done now. Hold on one minute. View, speaker. Hold on, I don't know if I've put you on spotlight or not. Let me just go back. Maybe I'll... No. Hold on. I think that's it. I think that's right. I think you are spotlighted, Jade, but let me just change the view. Uh, speaker. Okay, over to you, Jade. Hello. Can you hear me? All good? Cool. Okay. So most of you do actually know me by now, I think. I'm Jade. I joined Lisa in June of 2018, so just 19 months now, and I hit director within 10 months in April, um, and then star director, which I forget, actually, I forget about the, the star bit most days, um, September time, I think, so my team have gone strength to strength, I've far exceeded my own expectations for myself, um, I joined Sensi for a few free bits because... I had a borrow bag and I didn't really want to pay for it, truth be told, <laughs> so I thought I'd have it for free. And the rest, as they say, is history. Love it. This is my main focus now, above hairdressing. Obviously, in a pandemic, I can't cut out. So really, really thankful to have this. That's enough waffle about me. So January. Can't be any worse than December, right? So what I've been doing this week is... I am not much of a planner. Most of you will know me as being completely harebrained, a day late for everything. And I've got my diary here in front of me and I realised I am actually a day late for everything. I'm surprised they even made it on here at the right time. So what I did, I decided in December that I was going to be far more organised this year. And I bought myself one of these amazing Scentsy planners from the Success Store. And I've actually blinking been using it. It's a Christmas miracle. So you won't be able to see what it says, but you get the general there. So taking some inspiration from Nicola Wilson, she showed us in our director's group what she'd done last year was to basically do... i to try and bloody find it now. The pages pull out of these books really easily, don't they? I'm really heavy-handed and I keep pulling the pages out. We'll what, they go back in really easy as well though I think that's the beauty of it mm. yeah yeah mm. <laughs> mm. right I'll deal with that in a minute <laughs> right so this I don't expect you to be able to see what it says but you'll get the general right so this is my plan for 2021 and there's me in the middle and basically all the things that are written in black are my goals for the business all the things that are written in pink are my goals for my family and the green bits are my personal goals so for example lose two stone and run 100 miles in january simple why not so anyway putting all that into place Obviously, I needed to break that down into monthly goals as well. So moving back to January, I decided that I was going to get a bit more social media organised. And this I was just showing you here. Basically, what I've done is I've gone through for most days and decided in advance what I'm going to advertise on my social media. So, for example, uh, Monday this week, I did um, my ultimate six pack. So this is something that I tend to do when there's a new season coming in. So I did this at the beginning of the season back in August. And then obviously over the six months, my favourite six has changed because you get used to them, et cetera, et cetera. So out of all the discontinuing scents, I've gone on live in my customer group and basically said to them, you know, these are my top six, obviously only £32, whatever, um, from the discontinuing sense so that is sort of pushing stock that's going to be going out and that sold me I think four six packs so it's not mega mega but it's probably four six packs that I wasn't going to sell what I find and what you guys probably find as well is that your customers are specifically your customers because they, they buy into you quite a bit they turn up because they're interested in what you're doing like I've run a post in my Facebook group tonight because 
this is going to sound really stupid. Some of you would have seen it because if you're on my team, you're in my customer group. So I only drink hot black currant and my family think I'm mental because I'll only drink my black currant hot. So I posted in my customer group today, Ribena, hot or cold. And it's probably had the most interaction, the most comments that I've had in ages because they all think I'm an absolute crack box because I drink hot black currant. But it's because they've bought into me and my crazy ways, not necessarily because they care about black currant. So when I've then gone live and spoken about my six favourite waxes, they do care because they're there because they care about what I'm doing. So that's been really successful. Um, and something that I do every month anyway is a real whiff box focus. So I didn't sell any whiff boxes probably for the first year because I didn't advertise them at all because I just thought that everybody would want to know what they were getting and actually shock horror when people are avid sensor users they do quite actually like the surprise element so I've now got eight regular customers that always have whiff boxes and yeah so the first few days of the month I always go live and show what is in the previous month's whiff box so I've only just shown my customers what was in December's box because I don't want to ruin the surprise if they want to I don't even let my customers post it in my customer group. They can discuss it and they can share messages between themselves, but I don't like the contents being revealed because it's supposed to be a surprise. So I've revealed what was in last month's, which shows that it's good value. And then moving forward, people want them. So yeah, the six pack, the whiff boxes, um, just obviously we've been pushing these same products for six months and it does get a bit same old, same old. So just making sure that you're, Keeping a track of what customers want, if they've asked for products that are out of stock when they come back in, obviously, make sure you're promoting things that are coming back in on the product status list. Um, yeah, just be careful not to advertise stuff that's not in stock or not coming back in stock, basically. And I'm kind of focusing this month a bit more around building customer relationships um, I'm planning to do like a freebie Friday this week. So lots and lots of interaction games, just getting the fun levels back up in the group. Obviously, when they interact and if you're, I'm sure you're all aware of how Facebook works, but if someone comments on your post and you reply back to them, the algorithms recognize that there's a relationship and then your page will keep showing in their newsfeed more frequently. So what I'm trying to do is set everything in place so that when we go into February, all of my customers are going to straight away see all the new products because they've got my page in their feed, basically. So it's not rocket science and it's probably stuff that you're all doing anyway, but just while we're a bit slow with stuff to actually share product wise, just trying to build those relationships and share a bit more of myself. Um, and I think the reason I've got a bit more organized this month is because I am actually moving house in two weeks and I need to be because otherwise it's just not going to come off so yeah all of that in terms of my customer group and what I've done in my team group obviously if you're in my team you already know but we're having a real heavy recruitment focus for January because obviously anyone that joins in Jan will get all the spring summer stuff we've got transition it's for you know it sounds really cliched but it is very much a new year new me kind of a lot of people do buy into that. I don't necessarily, or even though I've got quite a lot of New Year's resolutions, but a lot of people do. So a lot of people will be quite keen to join the business at the moment because obviously they want to change. We're in lockdown again. A lot of people are being made redundant or furloughed or whatever. So that's why we're going for the recruitment focus this month. So I've got my team all doing their dream team list, which is basically just a list of 10 people that you know in your everyday life that you'd really love to recruit into the business. And then making sure that they're offering their host join kit with every single order they put through. So all of you can do that. The host kit is available to each and every single one of us. And you should all have a dream team list as well. So I sound like I'm being a bully now and it's nothing to do with January. So that's me done. I'm going to pass you over to Lisa because I get really nervous about going live. And then when I'm actually live, I don't shut up. Thanks, Lise. I love you coming live. <laughs> Honestly, I love you coming live. I don't think you realise quite how like engaging you are to watch. Like I can just yeah. sit there and listen to you for ages and I'm sure everyone will agree, with, agree, will agree with me. So, right, okay, let me just move you guys over here because otherwise I look like I've got no head on here. And then the people on YouTube, like, 
We'll have a little mic. Just put that there. Right. I hope. You've, so, um, really, really good tips. Honestly, guys, love hearing. I love hearing what you guys are up to because it gives me things. I'm like writing things down, going, "Oh, I love that about the whiff box. I think that's brilliant." And obviously, like the way you've started sampling, Laura, already because your organisation is just so much better than mine. I need to get you around to just organise my whole like life. Really, I think because you guys know that I'm not organised in the least. So just some of my top tips, okay, for you. Um, I loved both of them, so thank you guys. Um, right, I want to talk to you a bit about target marketing, and I think target marketing is so important for January. And something that I've done to help me target market is print off the wonderful discontinued list. Now, as you can see, this has changed as of today, so I need to go and print a new one and do this again, which I know is a bit time-consuming. You can laminate it if you like. That's probably the best thing to do if you're organised and you've got a laminator and get yourself a board, pen mark, a board marker and then you can literally write on it and as things change, you can scrub stuff off. But what I've done is all the things that have gone, as in like they're not coming back, so like the mustard warmer, for example, that date changed to March, so we know that that is now not coming back. I'm not going to advertise that. I advertised, like Jade said, don't advertise, Mickey and Minnie warmers stupidly last week. I could have sold probably six easy um and i've got people now still asking for mickey and minnie and i'm like oh my god like did you really do that because i didn't check the list and i didn't check when the dates were coming back because i don't run my business that way i run my business by what's available not what's unavailable and yeah that's the first for me it doesn't often happen but so for example now we've got this whole list of products what I tend to do is look at who's bought what, and this is really important. So I'm gonna show you something on your workstation where you can actually go and look at what your customers have previously bought, which means that you haven't got to scroll through. So this is my order book, for example, and I don't have to scroll through all of my orders, every single time someone orders with me, I'm gonna be like, right, who's bought Cozy Cardigan? It's gonna take me ages going back through that. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna share my screen with you to show you how this works. So make sure that you can see this. So desktop, hopefully you can all see this. Give me a thumb up if you can see my workstation. Fab, thanks guys. Right, so if you click on reporting, which is this tab over at the side, so you go to your um, home screen and then instead of going to dashboard home or orders, which you probably use a lot, or the success store, you're gonna click on reporting. Now, some of you have probably never clicked on reporting before. Um, it's not something that you tend to click on quite a lot. And what will happen is it will look like this. Now, my performance is gonna bring up all of like your team information. If you've got a personal team, View team is the one to look at, but we're not going to look at either of those. We're going to look at sales reports today. So you're going to click on sales reports. Now, it takes a little while to come up. And I'm going to try and do this where I have to be a little bit careful because I don't really want to show you all my customers' details. But just to show you, um, you can go to customer purchase history. So if you want to see everything a particular customer has ordered. So if you want to search for one particular customer, you can search for that customer and you'll be able to find everything they've ever ordered from you um, before. You can also look at reordering, which is seeing what customers might potentially order. So this is like, it might tell you, which is a good one to look at, but I normally go by product history, okay? Reordering is like the computer telling you what they think. Now I click on product history and it looks like this. Okay, so what you would then do is choose a product. So for example, I'm gonna to go to my discontinued list. Now I haven't, uh, let's just pick Cozy Cardigan for example, because it's the first wax I'm thinking of. So I can click on Cozy Cardigan and let's just go with flower, um, either flower. And then I will literally put that date back as far as I can go and I will search it. And what will happen is, my customers will start, hopefully, she says, if I put the dates right, oh, hold on, 2016, yeah. Maybe I haven't sold about a couple, ignore that. Oh, it is coming up, sorry. So it will start to come up with details of who ordered. So I can do that with every single product. But obviously I don't want to do that with every product. Sorry, I'm just going to reset that because I don't want to put all my customers' details popping up there because otherwise, so it's just so you get the general gist. So you can search by all the products 
in here and you can find who's ordered cranberry and tinsel, who's ordered tangerine fizzy, because you might not remember who's ordered that, who's ordered Eskimo Kiss, who's ordered winterberry apple tea. What you're then going to do, once you've got a list of who's ordered what, you can print it off, so you can literally print. And um, the same with like the body wash or whichever product you want to target. Right, let me just move you back so that, let me stop screen sharing for a sec. Stop share. So now you know how to do that. It will give you a list of everybody. Then what you're going to do is you're then going to inbox those customers. You're going to start a conversation with them like we did the other night. Hi, how are you? Hope you had a nice Christmas. Don't just go in there straight away with, hi, did you know Winsberry Apple Tea is discontinuing? Because they might then blank you. Get a, relation, get a relationship going with them first and then you let them know. So I've got a customer that absolutely loves Scentsy Clean Washer Whips. She's bought so many of me. So straight away, I've messaged her and I've said, or I've tagged her in my post when I'm saying Scentsy Clean is discontinuing. So I've tagged her in it. I've tagged um, all the people that have bought those products, that absolutely love those products. Just by using that, that um, customer feature you've got there, you can go back and you can actually find out who's ordered what. Now, if you only use an individual order every single time and you don't go back and add your customers in, it might won't come up with any customers names that have ordered which is probably what just happened with cozy cardigan flower i probably ordered them under me it probably comes up that i'm the only person and if that is the case then obviously yes you're going to have to go back through your order book but try and be clever about it you could write in if you're like me i quite often thank my customers publicly and say like thanks so much for your cozy cardigan flower order if you search for cozy cardigan all of those customers might come up all in one. So that's called target marketing. It's about being a little bit clever, letting them know what's discontinuing. And this will be the same in February when Kiwi Fruit, my absolute favorite wax ever in the whole wide world, comes back. Everyone needs to try it, by the way. When that comes back in February, I will be using that exact formula to message everybody that I know that has ever bought this bar off me. The same would be fabulous. And I will be literally target marketing them going, oh my God, did you know this is back? Did you know this is back? So um, this is like a really good way for you to actually target market people. Kate just said, I've set up a document with a list of waxes my customers order. Oh my God, that is organized. You are organized. Um, well, now you know it does it there. You don't actually need to, but you need to make sure you go and assign your orders to people because if you don't assign the orders to them then your the system will never know who's ordering but so that's target marketing really important for january it's the best way to get sales don't just rely on posting the fact that cozy cardigan flower is discontinuing and hope that everybody flocks and buys cozy cardigan flowers it doesn't happen like that i have been posting in, in on my social media now for three years and i can post Scentsy washer whiffs or clothes line washer whiffs have just come back or clothes line wax, cozy cardigan wax, which is like one of our most popular waxes has just come back and not one person will comment on it. So it really depends. You've got to reach out to people. You've got to actually physically message people, speak to people, contact people. So that's target marketing. Um, as much as you can through January, try not to use flyers, try to use real life images because it's going to draw people in. And as Jade said, the more you can up the interaction by getting those interaction posts going, the better. That is going to really draw people in for January. Um, so next thing to help with your sales for January, you are going to follow up with every single person that bought stock from you in December, that bought a gift for somebody in December, that um, maybe had a car bar off you, maybe they had a sample pack, or they had a join pack, or they maybe contemplated buying a gift for somebody. And I want you to message them all, and I want you to ask them a very simple question. I want you to ask them, did Sally, whoever was having the present, did Sally love her T-Rose Mini Warmer? What did she think of it? And hopefully that is a conversation starter for you. And if you haven't, you need to get Sally in your customer group. And that's really, really important so that you can follow up with Sally and make sure that Sally is all good. And she, does she want any more? Because she might have been bought one bar of wax. And we all know that one bar of wax is going to last us, what, a day, if that? You know, like, not even that, if, you, if you're in my house. Like, one bar of wax does one room. So you need to follow up with every single person that has... Um, literally touch base with you in December. That's really, really important. Right, this is gonna be something, this is something I've done and I did it on, and I, I'm gonna test, I want you all to do it now. Please don't hate me for this. And I want you to advertise it. 
I want you all to use this month the amount of cubes of wax that your warmers tell you to use. So how many cubes of wax would you put in this warmer here? This is my, it's the same as an Illuminate. How many cubes of wax would you put in an Illuminate warmer? It's not an Illuminate, but it's my pretty one. How many? Oh, Louise has gone four, two, Sam, three, Claire, two. Right, the actual amount to use in that warmer is four cubes. I can see some of your faces like, oh my God, she wants me to use four cubes of my favorite wax. What am I gonna do? Tell you what you're gonna do. If you use four cubes of wax, your customers will. This week I did an Instagram story showing me putting four cubes of wax in all of my warmers. And first of all, it did blow my head off, but I was like, that's great because we want it really strong. It lasts longer, lasts for like two or three days. But then what I did was suddenly my customers are texting me going, oh, I've, I've tried four cubes like you told me to. What do you think that's gonna happen? They're gonna use their bars of wax quicker. Who, what do you think is going to happen? They're going to be refilling. They're going to be using their wax. They're going to be following the instructions. But you need to show them. So let me find one, she says. Hold on one minute. This one has it. So this one, this is the cloud warmer. And you can do this in your live. And this is quite a good thing. I don't know if you can see that properly. So in there, can you see it says four? That's the number of cubes of wax that they recommend to go in the dish. And it's on the bottom of all your dishes for your big warmers. Your mini warmers, I would say one is more than enough because otherwise it spills over the top. Practiced and tried that. But on the bottom of every dish, apart from, I don't think it does it on, let me double check. Oh yeah, it does. So this is really grubby, but this is my parlor one for, so if you didn't know that number was there, you start using more wax, your customers are gonna use more wax as well. So that's the top tip for January, okay? But you need to tell them, you need to show them that, okay? You need to do a picture going like this because all, then they'll be like, well, what are you pointing at? And then actually write a post about it and then tell them what experience you've got. So try that for January for me. Okay, um, I'm gonna now talk about the return lists on a Thursday. So I don't know about you guys, but on a Tuesday, when we get that list that tells us what, what's coming back on a Thursday, I've completely changed the way I work my business. And for January, this is something I want you guys to really, really think about. So again, print off the list when it's all coming back, okay? Target marketing, you're gonna target people, you're gonna message them, you're gonna inbox people, you're gonna let them know. But that list that's coming back should be what you're advertising. Find pictures of all of the images that, of things that are coming back on that list and make sure that that list is being promoted in every way, shape or form. At least all of those products should go on your customer group. And this is the biggie between Tuesday to Thursday, which is a hell of a lot of posting. But you've got business page, you've got a group, you've got a personal page, you've got stories, you've got Insta stories, Instagram, Facebook stories. Wherever you like, you can post it. You can make a collage as long as it's not got Disney products in because we can't collage Disney products. But your customers need to see everything that's coming back. I have found that when I just post a picture of the list off of the workstation, I don't get any sales. When I make that list look pretty, like I posted it this week and I put a few emojis on it and you know, actually write it out, suddenly I had 150 pounds worth of orders off of the back of posting that list. So that list has got to become like a regular real thing for you. Every Tuesday, get into a habit of, right, I've got that list. I'm gonna go and find the best images that I can find. If you've got products on there, go and take the best images that you can. Um, that's really important. Okay. Next, I'm moving on to samples. So I did this with my kids and my hubby. And I made I'm gonna get it, a whole host. I've got a hostess trolley, as you can see from Ikea. I absolutely love it. Um, but I made a whole hostess trolley of samples for the month. I bulk sampled for the whole of the month. Now, I'm not, I'm not ready to work the next month yet. So I'm still working this month massively. So I have tried to pick waxes that I'm thinking, right, I know that things are discontinuing. I have definitely, I've done scent of the sample of scent, um, scent of the month, I always do that because I always buy that in the bulk load. And I always, always, always have a stash of close line Scentsy Fresh because it is like the most popular one and it's all I had in stock. But for example, sea salt and avocado bath soak, sampled, ready to go. 
Now, this is going to spark a conversation where I can say to people, that particular scent is discontinuing. Did you want to stock up on that before it goes? So if you've got orders that are going out now, for example, like this week, you need to make sure that there's discontinuing scents that are in those orders that are going out. It's no good just giving them clothesline, you know, uh, coconut lemongrass, because they could buy those for the next six months. They need to actually feel that panic that things are leaving. And you have got to be the ones that are going to instill that panic in them. OK, like every post that I write, I'm like, oh, my God, it's so sad. It's going when I go live. That is literally what I'm giving my customers. And that is how loud I am being and the passion that I'm showing that something's leaving. You guys need to do that. And you've got to relay that in your posts. You've got to relay that in your lives, because otherwise they're just going to be like, so what? Something something else is coming. They're not going to be bothered. So make sure you're sampling discontinuing products. Really, really important in particular. Um, I don't think I've got all my discontinuing ones. I think it's at the other end. Um, what have I done with the discontinuing ones over there? So on my discontinuing waxes, for example, um, what have I made samples of? I'm in the middle of doing, I've got, I've got so much Winsberry apple tea, it's ridiculous. But Winsberry apple tea, for example, um, you make your samples of that. Make up a little flyer, or there is one in the squad, which you can print off. Hold on. I think I might have one here somewhere, she says. Amongst all the rubbish. Maybe not. I've got one somewhere. I will post it again in the in the scent squad. But it basically explains about Scentsy Club, which is something that this is where you guys need to... Re this is the month to push Scentsy Club. If there's going to be any month, it's now. Okay? This is when people are going to sign up. Um, One of my frontline texted me today and said... At least I've got my first sign up for Sensi Club. And I was like, whoop, whoop, that's amazing. Think about it this way. If you can get 500 PRV in orders in Sensi Club, realistically, you wouldn't have to sell another thing for the rest of the month and you could still earn on your team if you had a team. Obviously, we don't want to get in that mindset because we want to get as much PRV and commission as possible. But Sensi Club should be something that you're pushing and something that you're explaining to your customers, especially if they are obsessed with Eskimo Kiss, for example, or Winsberry Apple Tea, they need to get it on Scentsy Club so they can order it for the next six months. Now, the way to do that is you need to tell people these scents are discontinuing. There is a chance that you will never see them again. This is the seriousness of it, okay? All of these scents, it doesn't mean that they're going to all come back next winter. We hope that Winterberry Apple Tea and Cozy Cardigan will, re will return because they're like our best sellers. And we hope that Heidi and Orville will say, yeah, we'll keep those in the catalogue. But they might make something better or make something completely different and decide, actually, that's been in for four seasons. That's going to go. Blueberry Cheesecake. It's the first time I've seen it in three years today. First time in three years when that came back the other day. Sorry, when did it come back? Last week. So when that came back, it was the first time in three years. I used to love Blueberry Cheesecake. I didn't know about Scentsy Club back then. We didn't have it. So get your cu customers to understand the importance of Scentsy Club. They can always get their bar, okay? They can't always get their washer with, so they can't always get their soap. They can't always get their cleaning stuff if it's discontinued, but they can always get their bar. So that favorite bar they can always get. If you get an email saying otherwise, ignore it because it's just a glitch in the system. But... Say, for example, they've got three of their absolute winter favourites because I think some of those that are discontinuing, for example, Blueberry Rush, um, Citrus Pomegranate, Cozy Cardigan, Dumbo, Happy Hibiscus, Ice Citrus, definitely. I absolutely love that wax. Um, Lemon Meringue, Mad About Magnolia. I mean, how did that end up discontinuing? How did Mad About Magnolia end up discontinuing? That is like summer all over it. But all of those bars... I would say are not winter bars. So they could warm them all year round, but it's a case of letting people know that Scentsy Club is something that's available. because so they might not even know. And if you've only posted about it, they're not gonna know. So make sure you're messaging people, letting them know, this is my link to Scentsy Club. If you don't know how to do it, you go onto your website, see where it says Scentsy Club, click on that, it'll give you a new URL, and you literally just copy and paste that and send it out to your customers and say, you can sign up to my Scentsy Club and then you can get your bar. Julie's just said, I've got 10 customers with a subscription. Julie, where are you? I'm going to put you on the spot now. Where's she gone? Unmute yourself. Can you, can you wave at me? 
I'm here. Are you on? Hold on, let me put you on speaker view. Speaker. Oh, why can't I see you? Oh, there she is. Hold on. Right, I'm going to just make you. How did you get 10 customers to sign up to Sensi Club? That is insane. Um, I just kept telling them that, they, you know, if you lose them and you love them, you're just going to not get them. So, like, I need to add this. Um, one of my customers is my body shop um, consultant. Yeah. Um, she, she spoke to me the other day about another scent and... She then turned around and went, I need to add that to my subscription because I don't want to lose it. So she's got Go Go Mango and there was something else. But all of them are like, I don't want to lose it. I've got another £200 subscription coming out this month. Wow. Yeah. It's one of my old school friends back in. She's moved to Walton on the Nays. Um, my customers just feel my buzz for it. Um, my excitement and absolutely everything and I say if you want to keep it add it and I, I do you always remind them of that is it's just something you're always reminding them Love yeah it. Definitely. definitely brilliant absolutely brilliant well congratulations that is like that is incredible like I love that amazing I thought I was going to have a bad month this month like everyone else um but then I looked at my sensi club on my workstation I was like oh and then also um, my friend on Walton that's also got the £200 order, she wanted to get the prickly pear body wash and stuff before it went. She put a £100 order in this morning. Everyone needs her as a customer. You need to sign her up, Julie. Sign her up. Get her as a consultant. I'm telling her, I keep telling her she and I haven't got the time, but when, when she gets through everything... When she, the time's she, right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for sharing. So there you have it, guys. You need to make sure that you're talking about Sensi Club all the time. If you're not pushing it, you're not telling people, you're not, you know, if you if you don't even know what it is yourself, you need to go and read about it. You need to go and find out about it. Go put it into your workstation, search Sensi Club, find out all of the FAQs, read it, then go live and literally buzz about it to all your customers. And that's, I've written that down to go live and talk about Sensi Club tomorrow. Um, Okay, so just a couple of other things. Um, I know Laura talked about Bon Voyage bags, which are obviously made up of all the waxes that are leaving. I love that mystery bag. That has always been something that's gone well, um, that I've always done that every year. It's another focus as well for you guys for January is definitely spring clean. Any type of cleaning products, any type of cleaning bags. So I've always done where you can bundle a couple of the cleaning products together I always do the maths wrong, so don't ask me to work out the maths for it. But I always bundle like two cleaning products together and then I will include in their bag something like um, I have put in there before, a bottle of a pound of Sephora when you can get them in the, in the pound shop um, and a sponge, for example, and then loads of fresh samples. So like clothesline, Pima cotton, um, clean breeze and obviously then a couple of the fresh ones that are discontinuing as well and reminding them with a sticker or a little little um postcard like these are discontinuing you could also print something like this not this because it looks a bit it doesn't really look like customer friendly does it but you could design something that says these are all the items that are discontinuing and make sure that goes out in every single order I'm going to do that tomorrow because I just thought of that. So I'm actually going to do that tomorrow. I'm going to go and make something that I can literally put in every customer's order that basically is like a customer friendly of our discontinued list. So lots of ideas for you to run with. Has anybody got any questions? Has anybody got anything that you're like, oh, I don't, I feel like I need to ask anything. You've got the opportunity now. Now you can either type it or feel free to unmute yourself and just ask. That's what we're here for. Yes, please. Can you send yes, please? Una, go on, Una. Oh, yeah, don't put me on spotlight. I've got my jams on. All right, no worries. <laughs> you um, yeah, how, when do you, when do you promote um, Valentine's Day, though? Because I know it doesn't come out till January the 18th, but I'm thinking, I don't, if it comes out January the 18th, the customers are not, we're not going to know what they are. Well, we do, but they're not. So do you promote it before? knowing what you're going to get because otherwise when it comes out it's all going to go quick isn't it 
Well, I don't promote anything until it's on the workstation, just because I think things change all the time in this business. So we could be told, oh, yeah, we're getting a Valentine's bundle. And then next week we're like, oh, no, we're not getting a Valentine's bundle. So I would wait till it's on the workstation because then it's the same time that everybody knows. Um, I don't actually know what we're getting. Does, does anybody um, get anywhere? There was the pink glitter mini that's come in that Heidi and Orville did on their live. Yeah. Pink um, mini fan. Yeah, the pink oh, one. I think it's uh, the only reason I say well, wait for workstation because I don't know what's for our region and I don't know what's for region yeah. two, uh, sorry, region one and region three. And it always differs. So I know in the previous we've had the little heart mini warmer. They did show that again, didn't they? The heart mini one as well which is really cute. Um, I imagine that we'll probably get that particular Walmart again, but I don't think they've confirmed. So I will chase it up to ask when we're getting the information on Valentine. We're getting information on the 18th for Valentine's. It's just something that's sticking in my head. I don't know whether it's correct or not, but I think we're getting the information on the 18th. So we'd be able to sort of then push it. Normally, I imagine it'll be the 18th and then it'll go live on like the following Monday or something like, like that and then they will ship them within like their two day window. Remember that they're actually shipping pretty quickly at the moment so she says. Yeah, no, I'm just thinking how lazy men are and they leave things till the last minute. They do. They do. <laughs> what I would do in preparation, so at Christmas and I've still got it, I've got my man list which I would definitely do in preparation and is get that list ready of all the people that you can think of that actually you could contact to be like, right, they need I've that list. Thank you. Yeah. So I would get your list ready. I have also shopped Amazon for, which I showed you the other day in the sense squad, things like tissue paper, um, like heart sweets, you know, little things like that, that I can start to put in orders as well um, for if people do order them. So you could offer Valentine's Day wrap, a gift wrap. There's um, Lisa in Lidl yesterday, they've got these little crackers. Um, it's Sarah Kaywood over here. Um, no, they've got are. these little... <laughs> I'm around. You. You don't... Let me change the view. Can I see you? Um, you they've got these little cardboard crackers, which were three quid or 2 99 and they're a pound 50 now, and they're selling them off. And they've got a little Nivea, a pink Nivea lip seal, a pink Nivea um, moisturiser, and, uh, and a face pack. And oh, I thought they'd be good. That I thought that for a pound fifty, you get those three things. And I and I bought about four of them because I was like, I'm going to make Valentine packs out of those. Cute, I, I love thought that. That's really good. So yeah, in Lidl now, ladies, if you want, ladies and gents. And also, just while I'm on, and then I'll go away and shop for good. Um, I so I joined in January last year, just before pandemic hit, and so I've sort of known Sensi before stock issues and after stock issues, but I never knew, I, I, ne I never was aware of the limited time offers. So what I wanted to know is, I know that the LTOs will always go because when I joined in January, I think it was January the 18th, the Valentine stuff sold out like a week later. I was completely unaware of it at the time because I was so new, but I missed that. So I know that they will always fly out. But do you think that the normal stock will eventually get back to levels where we don't have to, because like to this evening when the restock happened, I, I attached an individual order to a party, which cost me nine pound in shipping. And I keep doing that because I'm so worried if I don't like this, one of my customers wanted two queen pineapple plugins. And I thought if I keep this party open for a few days, what happens if they go? And like the cozy cards gun, I guess could go. Do you think the levels will go back to pre pandemic where we can all relax a little bit more about that? We have been, we've had calls, we have had many a calls, and yes, it will. Um, yeah. They've said 100% that, that stock levels will get back to where they are. They're, I mean, yeah. they're, they're getting there. I want to say that things are getting better. I'm hoping for the new season that we'll start to see definite improvements. But yeah. at the moment, I think until things settle down with the way that the world is... I just don't think that I don't, I can't see it anytime soon. You don't want to take, yeah. I, well, I, I don't want to take oh, any yeah, chances. This time next yeah. year, it will be amazing because I don't know where we're going to be, like with yeah. what's going on with. I didn't want to, well, I didn't want to take any chances tonight, especially with Cozy Cardigan. So I think I bought four spares anyway, because I'm bound, you get people, don't, despite you telling them to add it to their club, you'll get about four people on February the 2nd going, oh my God, have you got any Cozy Cardigan? I really loved it. And I was like, I think I told you four or five times it's been discontinued. And yeah. there you go. <laughs> that's standard, like that's standard. But as so I say, nice. as, can I just start in? Well, Sorry, I just wanted to add to what Sarah was saying. Basically, what 
what happens is Sensi forecast what stock they need. I think, what is it, Lisa, about nine, ten yeah. months in advance? A year, a year yeah. in advance. Yeah, yeah, because and I did know this, and they couldn't they couldn't forecast the pandemic, could they? So they had no, stock levels silly. based on the previous year. So no. I guess with that math, then we should be coming good in about three or four months, shouldn't we? I think we'll start to see the beginning of the end about sort of May time, I reckon, don't you, Lise? Yeah. I'd like to say yes. I think I think the problem... When you look at, if you think about, so think about our group, let's just take our group into consideration. In January, we was a group of 400 and we're now a group of 2,300. We're just mm. one team out of 24 SSDs in the UK, just the UK. And if we've had that growth and everybody's had that same growth, mm. you can imagine that their actual forecasts would have been for us as a team of 400 not us as a team of 2,300. So when you look mm. at it in that perspective, you can see that whoever did the forecasting, like, I feel sorry for that poor, poor person. Like, that poor person that did the forecasting must be like, oh my gosh. And then on top of then throwing in, we've got Brexit on top of that, the whole plastic situation where they couldn't source a lot of the products. I think a lot of stuff's getting stuck at port, I think is quite a big issue as well. Mm. But I think on top of that, all of those things, those factors probably haven't helped on top of COVID as well. Um, well a bit of a light though, the etched cores, the new ones, they're still in stock. I know, so. yeah, <laughs> which, which I, I think is a real good light because it's actually showing that I thought they would have sold out like Glitter Minis. I thought they would have gone like, like that quick. So I think in terms of that, it means that their projections have definitely, and the same as today, like things like the Crushed Diamond, for example, I don't think it has, but I thought that that would have sold, gone straight onto back order or straight have sold out by now. And it hasn't. Yeah, no, that's still in stock. So it means that their forecasting is definitely improving. And when you look at some of the products like the Obsidian, when we sold a month's worth of Obsidians in 13 minutes, that's just insane. The same as um, one of the other mini warmers, like Glitter Minis, I think it sold like a month's worth in like 10 minutes. So when you look at some of those actual things that we do I mean what a company to be in at the time that we're in I, and I know it's frustrating and we look at all of the stock problems and we think oh god is it they're ever going to be light at the end of the tunnel because that's when it makes it difficult for you know that's when we're having to come up with these different ideas to say right how can we still boss this month and still put through crazy PRV with you know when we're looking and going oh god we've got no warmers we've got no mini warmers no tabletop bases I think sometimes it can look a lot worse than it is because the website shows all of the things that are out of stock and that tends to be where our focus goes straight away to that red we're like oh my god that's out of stock that's out of stock that's out of stock and it's training your mind to just look at what's in stock and just work with that so but i ho hopefully we will see an improvement really hope really really hope has anyone yeah. else and one thing in regards to the reporting that you mentioned that mm -hmm. you showed everyone lisa um i mentioned it to you i think it was was it january last year when there was actually 10 percent off the whole catalog yeah um, that I actually used that reporting system to find out everyone that had bought um, Sensi Goes, Wall Fans, Mini Fans. Then I could target them all to split six packs of pods and give them cheaper deals. And loads of them were buying so many off the back of that. So I will be doing that again. Um, I must admit, a lot of my Christmas Eve boxes had Wall Fans in them as well. So I'm just I'm going to start promoting to more of them to try and get some more pods out. Definitely. If you want to do mystery bags, like use the pod systems, try and go for like wall fans because you can't buy those pods anywhere else. I'm shocked that they've stayed in stock. I really am. That's the thing I thought would have gone out of stock. It just goes to show. Um, Tara said, I've just done January blues bags as well. Fifth, I love that. Um, Karen posted that idea in the squad this week and I, I didn't even know on the 18th, apparently it's January blues day. Did you all know that? I didn't. So that's a really, you know, one of the things in the Sensi Planner, actually, it does give you a list of all the national days. And um, so if you have got the diary, um, or it did last year, I don't know whether it does this year, but you can look up on the internet, for example, that and this is a really good branding tool. You could brand yourself by sort of saying, okay, um, yeah, it does. All the different holidays are in here. Um, but you could say, for example, if you search like national holiday or what today is on Google, it might be like jumper day or I don't know, odd socks day or as I say, blues day or something completely random like that you didn't even know existed because there's lots of days out there. That I'm like, I didn't even know it was that day, like national, I don't know, 
whatever. I can't even think off the top of my head. But there's all sorts out there to actually then, you know, bring that into your marketing and into marketing something a little bit different. So Sam said she's got a question. Sam, I have a question. Is are you still Hi. Sam? Hi. Hello. Hi. Um, so basically, I've had a client uh, message me today, or customer, sorry, <laughs> talking in hairdresser mode. Um, she wonders if there's anything that we can use on like our carpets and stuff. What can we use to clean them and keep them fresh? Or is there well, anything I can? Fancy fresh, yeah. definitely. I use counter clean on my carpet. Does anyone else? I use it on my on my sofa. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I would get them to test a tiny patch where it's not going to get seen. But I yeah. use count. I've used counter clean on all of my my next like expensive sofas. I've used counter clean. It brings up sofas. Brilliant. Also, like, Lisa. Really? Oh, right. Okay. It's just she's got she's got two you know, scatty dogs in and out the garden, a new house. So <laughs> she needs something to keep everything fresh. Definitely Scentsy Fresh. Yeah, the, cool, the lovely, whiff. thank you. Don't forget the whiff. And oh, course, yeah. yeah, wash your whiffs as well, yeah. How, how can that be used, if you don't mind me asking? Sorry, like, I only started in July. Like shake them back. Oh, okay. Or you can dilute them in your mop and bucket. And mop your floors. Lovely. Thank you. Just remember when you're advertising <coughs> those type of things, guys, you can't actually advertise them. You can. You can say, I use them like this. But you have to be careful how you advertise them because they're not for the intended use, um, which I get a little bit funny about that. But you with, can... um, Sorry, Lisa. I just thought with the whiffs as well, I found it was like it was blocking my hoover sometimes when I hoovered them up. So I was actually... It was quite funny. I was actually having a fight with my partner and I, oh, the only thing I had in my hand was Stency soap. So I threw some at him and it sucked up with the Hoover a lot better than it did the wigs. <laughs> so rather than like get blocking your Hoover because it's a finer powder and it still yep. makes it smell really nice. Yeah, like it. It's like a bit it. more expensive, but. <laughs> I, I, yeah, yeah. I'm definitely a little bit more expensive, but I like it. I like, I like, I like your thought patterns. I like your thought ideas. Sorry, I know it probably wasn't completely relevant to today, but I just needed to know. That's all right. That's what we're here for. That's what the Q&A is. Um, Lisa, I've just unmuted. Go on. Is, is it right to speak? I don't know if you can all hear me. Um, yeah. With the whip, I attempted to put them on the rug once before, shake it onto the rug, and then try to cover it up. It actually went all over the top of the floor, everywhere. And we've got a dog here, and we look after um, my hubby's mum's dog. And I was scared that the dog would then be shot. I keep losing you. I can't hear you very well. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Yeah, move um, your microphone. That's it. Sorry. I put whiffs on a rug before once. Yeah, and I tried to hoover it all up, and it just went all over the wooden floor. And I then had to sweep it up off the wooden floor. It made such a mess. You put them on the wood. So, the whiffs on the wooden floor. No, the whiffs went on the rug, oh. and then I hoovered them up from the rug, and whilst I was hoovering, the whiffs went all over the wooden floor around the edges. Oh. It was a mess. I would not suggest doing it myself. I'm sure that they can work that out. I'm sure they'll, yeah. Yeah, no, it's fine, but it's just I wouldn't suggest that. <laughs> this is me. Well, give them, a, give them some options. Give them some options. Right, guys, has anyone got any other... Any other questions before we go? I feel like I've kept you all on for like long enough, been chatting forever as usual. Right, thank you so much. Uh -huh. to oh, Lisa, can I just ask one more quick question? Uh, yeah. Um, I might have some more joiners next week. It's the wonderful Instagram You're going to come and tell us how you, how you get all these joiners. You're going to come live, aren't you, in the squad? Well, yeah, I mean, but I have an unfair, I, I do feel embarrassed because I have an unfair advantage, don't I? Because I've got that lovely You've Instagram following. You've got function. I love it. Yeah, I know. That's because of Fern, though. That's because she said you should go and watch her school run chat. And then loads of people started following me. And then loads of people unfollowed me when they realised that I was not their bag at all. <laughs> anyway, that aside, um, I need to start doing some training videos um, like this. But I don't really want to do YouTube ones. Um, and what I want to ask is, do I do... Do, so I need them all in one place. Do I do them on IGTV and then have them open to, for other people to see, which I don't really want to do, especially if you're doing workstation stuff. 
or do I do them on the Facebook group? And then, then I'm so I'm old, so I'm a technophobe. Where do I store them in the Facebook group? Do you, because you have, you, I mean, I've never even looked in our, like in Sense Squad, I've never really looked at the units and stuff because I find it really confusing because I'm an old lady. So I wish I can show you how to create a unit and then you can put all your training units in, uh, all your training videos in one unit. Yeah, because of the bigger, the, obviously you can't, you know, I know that I was very high maintenance when I joined, but you can't really spend that amount of time training up one person when your group gets bigger, which is wonderful but also you have to you know you've got a project manager I, I've got a project manager a bit better now and I don't think I'm equipped to do to do it at the moment so well we can have a, we can have a chat about that I can help you with lovely. that cool. all right thanks babe all right guys thank you. Right. Uh, thank you so much to Laura and Jade as well it's lovely to see you and lovely for everyone else that's come live and given some top tips I love it um if, obviously I will save this I will get it uploaded to the group so people if you've got teamies that have missed it you can tag them in it and let them know that it can be caught up at some point and I will catch up with you all soon. But thank you all so much for your time. So I know that's something that can't be full. It's very precious and I'll speak to you all soon. See you later, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.